welcome to my channel and welcome back if you're already subscribed if you're not make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave so you don't miss any more videos from me so this video is going to be on my hair of course this hair is from a company called coming by shop and i've had this hair for a while now so I, what i've been doing is wearing hair for a while so i can give a more detailed review on the hair so i've had this for a while i have in their brazilian kinky straight and i was also really excited to do this texture because it's a texture i've never done before but i've always wanted to try because it came out and it just was popping for a while and i was like oh i want to try that so um it's supposed to mimic african-american texture i have in four bundles in a closure and i have the inches 18 20 and 224s and my closure is a 16 inch closure so i have my closure pushed up with um my hair left out around the edges um just so it gives um the look of a high ponytail hence the ponytail um i like this look with this hair because it's so big there's no particular reason why i cover up the closure like it's it, the closure is perfectly fine i bleached the knots it's great um this is just the style that i like to use when i wear this hair because it's really full i love the texture it's really natural so i just like how it looks like this like i really really like it um you can't really see the texture because of my lighting but if you look on um if you look on here and watch some videos on kinky straight hair, it comes straight and it's really, really thick and it has like a wave effect type texture to it. Um, when I first got this hair, I decided to just make the wig and straighten it. But I think since the hair was so thick, I could have used less hair because I used all four bundles and the closure. So when I tried to silk press it, it was still kind of poofy. Like it wasn't flat enough for me. So I was just like, this hair probably will look really, really good curled because it was so full and it's so thick. So I was just like, it's just too like puffy for me like it's too puffy like it's just too big like it doesn't lay flat enough but i've been wearing it like this and a lot of you guys like is that a frontal is that a closure what is it is your hair left out but no it is a closure it's a four by four closure and i literally just pushed it back a little bit took some of my hair out and just you know did this <laughs> But I've been loving the hair. I had it for so long and surprisingly I don't get any shedding out of this hair. Like it it doesn't shed. I don't do I don't use a lot of product on this hair. I use mousse to flexi rod it and the mousse that I use is this um trust me mousse. This is what it looks like and it's like three dollars four dollars tops like it's like nothing major. I got it from Target and on it it says flawless curls um extra hold mousse so they have a lot of different kinds so make sure you get this green one because it works really well um this is the size flexi rods that i use they are really thick and i feel like a lot of you guys always ask me about how i flexi rod my hair and everything i have videos coming really soon for that but i like to use thick flexi rods when i um when i curl my hair because i like the way the curls come out like i don't like really small baby shirley temple noodle curls like i'm just not into that but um that's what i use um the hair is really really thick and it's really full so i'm just going to turn around and show you how much hair this really is like it's so much it's so much hair it's so thick and it's so big and it's so bouncy i freaking love it like i love it you guys know i love big big hair i love it um the only thing that i haven't done to this hair i haven't used like the regular barrel curlers to curl this hair because i felt like it would look really weird and the cold the curls wouldn't hold well enough so i didn't even attempt so this hair wan curls really well and it um it flat on it not flat arms it um flexi rods really well i had like a major wipeout in my head just now like it was the biggest brain fart like i didn't even know what i was talking about anymore but um i feel like if you want to get this hair and you want to straighten it just use probably like three bundles and a closure instead of four or maybe even two and a half because the bundles were really really thick and the hair is thick so even if you don't have four bundles if you don't want this big 
look then three bundles will be really safe three bundles and a closure um this hair blends really well with african-american hair i've seen it um i've seen some videos where people who are natural they curl this hair and then they band to not their real hair i've seen people make this way well not this way but this kind of hair into you parts and it blends flawlessly with um african-american hair this texture it literally mimics african-american hair which is so crazy and which is really amazing because sometimes if you're natural it's really hard to blend your hair with you know silky brazilian and malaysian and all of that especially if you're natural it'll like frizz up like i've seen it and then um the way the curl pattern is i feel like this is like dead on for African American hair. Like this looks really, really good. I seen Aaliyah J do a video with some um, hair like this, Brazilian Kiki Straight, and it looked so good. It looked really, really good. But I don't really have much to say. Like you can see for yourself how amazing this hair looks. And I've had this hair for months and it still looks amazing and has an amazing shine to it. So if you guys have any questions, all of the details will be in the description bar. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just feel free to leave it in the comment section. And I will definitely respond to you. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.